So, then, technically, since I got the ARP hardware, I actually need to torque it to how the ARP specs would be for the game. I need to be accurate torque reading, so I need to actually torque it with the ARP hardware. Now I actually need to lay this plastic gauge out. Okay. And that's installation hardware. Three steps to 60 foot pounds. So I'm going three steps, 60 foot pounds. Um, so I do 20, 40, 60. So all my mains check good. I don't know if you can see this. Let me get this out of the way. Hey, there's a plastic dip there. They're all pretty consistent um, across the board. Within the limit, to our point was at twenty-four thousand, twenty, yeah, twenty-four thousand and uh, forty thousand. They were all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this stuff off. Get the crank back out. And uh, actually lube up the bearings and uh, lube up the bearings, and I'll get ready to put it back in.
I'm gonna torque these down. I'm gonna use the um, I'm gonna use the stretch method, not yeah, the torque and the angle method, excuse me, that they recommended. So what it wants me to do here is torque it to 25 foot pounds, then add an additional 55 degrees per the instructions. So there's my 25. Then I'm going an additional 55 degrees. So I'm using a torque angle gauge. It's already at zero. And what I'm gonna do, So I get to actually get back on the boat. I got my gauge on there. This is kind of like a stopper to keep the bottom from moving. I'm going to come to this side so you can see. So I'm going to 55. Is right there. So 55 degrees here. Actually, that's 40, 50. I need to go a little bit more. That's actually 50. I'm gonna use this breaker bar just because it'll be a little more precise. literally like 55 should be pretty dead on too and now I have to do the same thing to this side Thank you. 
Okay, so I didn't get to show the angle gauge usage. I mean, the stretch gauge usage like I wanted because I didn't think I was going to be able to get to work at first. So I was going to do the actual uh, torque method, the ARP, or that they suggested with it using the torque angle gauge. And this is, you see, just a regular socket. Put your uh, <coughs> half inch here and um, the socket that your knee goes on this side, you put it down there, this little arm, the Allen wrench here, kind of, you turn this to stop it. And that way when it turns, it'll, it's supposed to kind of like turn and hit. So you get it to a point where it's completely stopped, zero it out, and then you turn it and this arm will stop the base from moving and this top glass piece will still move with the actual uh, uh, dial on it to show what your angle is. I mean, it worked fine. This thing is kind of finny. You got to really make sure you got it stopped and tightened because it'll want to kind of like move slightly. So that was the only uh, part of that that was difficult. Um, but then I actually was able to get the angle gauge on there. I didn't get to show it, but I'm basically show you guys what I did. Um, let's see here. And since this is just an old piston to show you. Obviously, if the board's upright, put the piston down in there, flip the board, we'll put the cap on. And this one's a little bit more strenuous, I guess, but you would literally, you put the gauge on. Well, this is just an example. Well, the bad thing about this is, first you gotta get your wrench on. And tighten this down just to, hopefully you guys can see this angle. First, you actually have to get your, your wrench on. So like I say, this will be in the bore, so you, you know you won't have to hold it or anything. Then you put the angle gauge on, like so. And then you just kind of actually have to keep tightening it this way. This way you don't have any interference. Just make sure you put it on there at the beginning. You zero it out. Um, when you torque it to what you're supposed to torque it to, and then once you got that torque, that's when you start your stretch. So at that point, you would zero it out, make sure it's on there. You had to put your wrench on there, and then you just turn it. And almost as you can see now, I'm not even really doing anything, but you see the gauge is moving. So it's just, that's how you would have to do every one. Like I say, this little wrench box in like this is kind of going to suck a little bit as far as torque goes. But this is the way you would do it. And like I say, and it would be able to fit in the block this way. So... This is what I ended up doing. Uh, undid the torque, retorqued it, and did it this way with the stretch gauge. Um, like I said, this is the only way I can see to do it in the block uh, without prior calculation. Like I said, if you had two of these, you could kind of measure each bolt outside of the block and then, you know, torque it, do all that stuff. But uh, this is just the easier way.